Where am I? I know this place. I've been here before. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. These stairs. I'm climbing these stairs again. I need to get out. The voices are calling me. My old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box and her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with my family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right. Time to gather my things. Hmm. I think I've overpacked. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. What was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. I received a mysterious pa- oh, I love this song. Oh my, I have the worst memory. I forgot the combination again. Thank goodness I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Amazing adventures of Nora Everhart. Art teacher. Merveille du Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. It's a relief that I don't need it to walk anymore. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. I'd always dreamed of traveling. I was not the same without you, Harry. Now it's open. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon as I woke up. Harry Everhart, my husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it, and some 
enigmatic instructions. We're all set, madam. Okay, Nora. From ready. here on out, you're on your own. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. But please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. Thank you, Captain Hudson. Well, here I am. In the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just... Miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you, but suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, Opal? What did you find? Whatever it was, it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there, to this place. An island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Everything is familiar. It's so familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? This, this can't be a coincidence. idyllic island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? There's definitely something strange about this place. See if I can find any trace of you around here. I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. The tent. So somebody was on this island a recently. A miniature va'a, a Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautifully. A note written in French. I only understand two words, ill and mort, island and death. It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. I feel quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy.
These wooden figures are called Unu. This seems to be telling a story. but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. This box. CW? Those are the initials on the brass key. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. From what I've read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big one? Well, that did something. Hmm, something's missing here. lovely flower offering. Well, look what's hidden here. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. I'd better check my journal. Is that... Harry? Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it! Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. A 
And I thought Colorado was too far from home when we moved there. Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Oh my, this is so beautiful. What were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. This looks like cargo from an earlier voyage, long before Harry's expedition. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this uni. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Harry said that he would go to the end of the world to find a cure. And by the looks of it, he wasn't lying. We promised we'd never lie to each other from the moment we started dating, no matter how harsh the truth. A mechanical bridge? That doesn't fit in with Polynesian traditions either. This reminds me of those slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. But a Polynesian version. Guess I hit the jackpot. That's my ticket across the river then. Motorboat. It's gone. And I had my luggage in it. All my things. Gone. And the tide was so weak, it couldn't have carried the boat away. What happened here?